It's indescribable, it truly is. Like it's, it's just like a vibe that you feel and it's adrenaline, it's happiness, it's emotional, it's drag. It's what makes me love it. You're capable of whatever you wanna do, no matter who you are, it's up to you to do it though. And you gotta get it done. My name is Nick. I'm also known as Indica Sativa and I live in Los Angeles, California. I knew that I wasn't going to be a follower in anybody's drag style. Like, I bring two styles. One is very New Orleans, which is where I'm from, and the other one is very, you know, California, and that's where kind of the weed comes in. That's how I kind of just built the character. I read this, like, survey before I moved here, and they say that the number one thing that you smell in Los Angeles is pot. Like, that's what, like, tourists say in this poll. I know it's not the weed capital of the world, but it just feels like it. It's, it's the crazy but coolest place in the world, I think. Most of all, I really think it's truly accepting here, and that's why I love Los Angeles. Weed, honestly, has just always been a part of my life, like, since the first time I ever smoked it. I knew how to roll a blunt within, like, one minute when I was 14. Weed, for me, when I smoke it, my anxiety kind of goes away, and I don't focus on every little thing that shouldn't be focused on because we're human and we're all different. We need to just be ourselves. Weed is something that is a huge part of my life, but it's not completely why I do drag and it's not the only thing about me. But at the same damn time, if you're ever around me, I'm smoking you out probably, so. For me, drag, not only is performance, it's definitely a business. With that being said, I am not a person that's just gonna sit back, so rather than trying to get booked in other girls' shows, I started to create my own shows. I think that's what elevated my drag so quickly, and that's, that's the business mind of it. Tim messaged me and asked me to come in. I sat down, he just kind of explained all the product to me, and then we got to talking more, and more things came about. So I am one of the models for their new product, and I'm also gonna be hosting all of their product launch events. It's my dream job. <laughs>definitely um, I get very creative you know some people get tired they say and I am like the exact opposite like I want to get up and move I like want to start my day uh, makeup is how I start my creative process I figure out what my face is gonna be and then I go into my closet and I start coordinating my looks towards my makeup so this is my dad he died when I was 19. No matter what times we had, they were mostly rocky. He was still my dad, and I feel like when he died, I just, I became driven. And I realized how short it was. So in a way, I like to think that my dad saved my life. My mom is my best friend. She always knew I was gay, and like she used to say, I don't care that you're gay. After coming out and her saying that, I think that sh that's part of the reason why I don't really give a shit what anyone thinks of me. Because I know that my mama loves me and honestly that's all that really matters in life, right? I love that when I get on stage, everything like that's going on in my life just feels like it, it is gone. You know what I mean? For five minutes, I don't think about anything but just to entertain, and it feels so, like, relieving. I just like everyone to, you know, feel for a moment, like, what I'm feeling. I feel like my vibe just goes into them, and the look in their eyes is just something that's, like, it's inspiring, and I get to see it on each person, you know? It's cool. You're like, can I redo that just one more time? Like, hold on, hold on. Go back. I want that feeling again. I like the gender fuck. I like to go out there and do like Ludacris or, or Webby or someone like that and just know every word and kind of play with people's head. Those are the songs that I feel comfortable with and 
you know, it's my drag. It's not anybody else's, so I can do what I want, and I do. My tagline is, I'll get you high because I can get you high with weed, or I'll get you high for my performance, or both. <laughs>